DNA has been derived from patients' tumors, but how much DNA does each sample contain? Today, research coordinator Mark Puppo will find out. He begins by removing the samples from a four degree Celsius storage room. My name is Mark Puppo. I'm the research coordinator for the biological samples platform. I handle all of the DNA quantification and normalizations that go on at the biological samples platform. These steps, quantification and normalization, allow Mark to see how much DNA is in each sample and help him determine how much to dilute each one. The reason we have to normalize the samples is because many of our processes require pipetting a minimum of one microliter and at very high concentrations one microliter would use up a lot of DNA so we have to have the samples diluted to a certain amount so that we can continue to do downstream processes without uh, exhausting the sample's volume. Once he knows the dilution factor he is going to work with, Mark takes two microliters from the samples and adds buffer on a separate plate. He then transfers a minuscule amount of that mixture into a black microflora plate. He adds a fluorescent dye that binds to DNA and runs the samples through a spectrometer, which measures the glow from each one. Each sample represents untold hours and dollars. A massive amount of work goes into them before they ever end up in our laboratory. And more work is yet to come. Next week, we'll see how these samples are processed and sent out of the biological samples platform and on to other groups for analysis.